In our tests, full self-driving even visualized the mannequin as a pedestrian, but still ran it down. Well, test of full self-driving supervised is continuing to fail a crucial test, even though the RoboTaxi launch is supposedly just days away now. Hi, I'm JJ. Welcome back. That's the story for today. Let's get into it. As you can see, this headline here, full self-driving test of fails school bus test hitting child-sized dummies. Meanwhile, RoboTaxis hit the roads in just two weeks. And so this is the X post from Tesla, which reposted Elon Musk saying, for the past several days, Tesla has been testing self-driving Model Y cars. No one in the driver's seat on Austin public streets with no incidents a month ahead of schedule. Well, I did see the other day that Waymo, which is doing now 250,000 paid rides a week at this point. We saw a interview from the co-CEO the other day who was saying that. So they're well into it. And they were testing for six months, fully six months before they really started. This was, you know, actual trials and there was years leading up to it. And so this is not a lot of testing so far. And we can see that a Dr. Mange replied to this, will Tesla RoboTaxi sporadically kill school children crossing roads as regular Teslas do? Same batteries, same fatal drive system, it's FSD, same jamming doors, same faulty cameras. And we have this headline here also from The Verge saying, we still know almost nothing about Tesla's RoboTaxi service. Even as we get more details about the launch next month, Elon Musk's a big self-driving experiment remains mostly a black box of information. So they're keeping it pretty under wraps. Not many people know about it. The Tesla influencers don't seem to know much about it. And so we have the Dawn Project. I'm going to show this video as well just in a second. But the Dawn Project, who conducted these tests with Dan O'Dowd leading it, said Tesla FSD 13.2.9 will still run a kid down while illegally blowing past a stopped school bus with red lights flashing and stop sign extended. So they did a number of tests here repeatedly to see if it worked or not. Now he says, Elon Musk, how many kids does FSD need to run over before you fix this? So let's watch that video testing now. There's really no comment from me needed during it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Here we go. The Dawn Project safety tests reveal that Tesla full self-driving version 13.2.9 will still blow past a stop school bus with its red lights flashing and stop sign extended and run down a child crossing the road. The tests were conducted using a hardware for Model Y. We rented a real school bus to conduct the tests and there were no children present. In our tests, full self-driving even visualized the mannequin as a pedestrian but still ran it down. In every single test we conducted, Tesla full self-driving didn't even slow down as it illegally blew past the stop school bus. We warned Tesla that its dangerous and defective full self-driving software would blow past stop school buses with their red lights flashing and stop signs extended two and a half years ago. Tesla did nothing. We published a Super Bowl ad in February, 2023 warning Tesla of this danger. Tesla still did nothing. Elon Musk's response was to crow on Twitter that this would greatly increase public awareness that a Tesla can drive itself. Two months after our Super Bowl commercial, a self-driving Tesla blew past a stop school bus with its red lights flashing and stop sign extended and ran down teenager Tillman Mitchell as he was exiting the bus. He was hospitalized with a fractured neck and broken leg. Elon Musk says that FSD massively improves your quality of life and safety. Tesla tells safety conscious customers that FSD will make them safer. But what kind of safety product does this? This is woefully defective engineering. What sort of company would sell a safety product and ship this? If Tesla's engineers cannot fix this critical safety defect, FSD should be abandoned. If they can but are choosing not to, they should be prosecuted. 
self-driving software that blows past stop school buses with their red lights flashing and stop signs extended and runs down children crossing the road should be banned immediately. So that definitely gets the point across, doesn't it? It's not something to like, but if you are getting value out of this episode so far, even though that was kind of hard to watch, even though they're just mannequins, I mean, really, it's pretty emphatic there, isn't it? That testing, but if you are getting value out of this episode so far, do you remember to hit that like button to help the algorithm to spread it to more people? It really does help with the algorithm big time. Thanks very much. And so here, follow up. Dan has said, just like all previous versions of Tesla FSD that's supervised, the more that version 13 is refined, in quotes, the more dangerous it gets. HW4, that's hardware 4, 13.2.9 is now down to 156 city miles between safety critical disengagements. So it's going down, not seem to be getting better. And that's a pretty late version. As I said, that they're going to launch in a, just really a matter of days. So it's pretty close to that final version, unless they've got you know a version that's more advanced than that, which is hard to see why they would have that. But it may seem like quite a few miles there, 156 city miles, but you have to realize that way most cars that are, as I said, doing 250,000 paid rides a week, they have way more than that. It really needs to be in the tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands between interventions because if they're running 24 hours a day, which they can do, they're doing a lot of miles and you just don't want any critical disengagements now that's worse than HW3 12.6.4, he says, which is at 158 miles. So it seems to be getting worse. Two weeks until it's robo taxi ready! Exclamation mark. Yeah, it does seem like it's not quite ready. This is somebody else with a Cybertruck in the wild testing FSD. And they say sprinkle of Cybertruck FSD mishaps on FSD version 13.2.9. So all of these same versions still keeps happening on this version. Left turn ends up in the opposite lane. This really needs to stop. Also, how are some Cybertruck drivers able to go on FSD and claiming never having to disengage so this is kind of puzzling i've seen tesla influencers the evangelical influencers who do videos and say on x that they've had no disengagements even driving for four or five hours i saw somebody saying that the other day because it seems like they're going to be tele operated in austin when they do the launch because they how can they have this kind of thing and elon has said that it needs to be really safe we can't screw this up so Electric has speculated that we teleoperators, and they've seen ads for teleoperators. I mean, they have teleoperators for the robots, but even if they have one to one teleoperation for the cars, just to make sure that that Austin launch works well. And I suspect maybe they've got this on some of those influencer routes, helping them out on the on the roads here, maybe practicing to help them have no disengagements because people like him have them all the time. And there are examples online of quite a few disengagements. And so Electric says, Tesla has been testing RoboTaxi service without drivers for several days, says Elon Musk. That's referring to that post that was retweeted by the Tesla on X. Earlier this month, it was reported that Tesla had yet to start testing its planned robotaxi service in Austin without safety drivers. It was worrying a month away from the start of the service and in comparison to Waymo, which tested its system with safety driver for six months and without safety drivers for another six months before launching in Austin earlier this year. So they're going to be Waymo and Tesla in Austin competing on the streets there. Now CEO Elon Musk has confirmed that that previous report was true and he has announced that Tesla has been testing the service with no one in the driver's seat only for the past several days. So yeah, it's really close to the launch. The service is expected to be using heavy teleoperation. Musk nor Tesla confirmed the level of teleoperation, but it could be significant as one teleoperator per car. So that would be quite expensive. So if you're thinking of the robots, maybe you saw the We Robot event, which I did do a video about. There was one teleoperator per robot there 
and some people were fooled into thinking that was autonomous. So if they have one tally operator per car, which presumably they would be paying a lot more than a driver, like an Uber driver or a taxi driver, you'd be paying a tally operator more because it's pretty highly skilled. Over the last few days, several reports came out pointing to Tesla not having communicated important parts of the planned rollout of the service to local authorities. How can that be? You'd think they'd be working with local authorities to roll this out. I mean, they're unleashing supposedly autonomous cars in Austin. I think Elon said that they're going to do it in a kind of a safe place in Austin where maybe there's not too much traffic. I don't know. That would be my guess. So Electric's take here is at this point, I think this is either going to be fake, meaning an extremely high level of teleoperation or a complete shite show or both. So we'll have to see what happens there. Now I've seen some people mention in the comments of my videos that even if they have teleoperation, the lag would have to be so small because you know when you're driving a car, sometimes you have to make those split second, well that's the term used, split second, but often it's much less than a second, isn't it? to avoid some sort of collision or accident. So they'd have to have pretty good teleoperation, the connection and the, you know, the awareness of the operator. So I don't know, it remains to be seen. It's certainly going to be interesting to see what happens here. And at the same time as this, with the RoboTaxi event coming up, the launch where Elon Musk says it's going to make the company lots of money, the market cap's going to go up. And the stock price has been going up based, I think, on the RoboTaxi launch because sales, as we've seen in previous videos, like in Europe, have gone down by nearly 50% year on year. So if it was just on car sales, I don't think the stock price would be where it is. That's a speculation and not investment advice. But two Tesla insiders close to Elon Musk just sold almost $200 million worth of stocks. I've shown this in different videos. And the chair, Robin Denholm, has sold a lot of stock. They do get big allocations, but they seem to sell it pretty quickly as soon as they can. And she has reportedly sold around 95% of the stock she's ever got, ever held from Tesla. And she's the chair. And this is supposedly as the RoboTaxi launch is just coming up, which is going to do the company wonders, apparently. And at the same time, this, Elon Musk has been doing Doge, which he's pulled back from. That's been in the news just in the last 24 hours, leaving the Trump administration. But pension fund investors demand Elon Musk work a 40-hour week at Tesla. <laughs> when you read it like that, it seems like, wow, a 40-hour week. But of course, he's been dividing his time and spending a long time on Doge. But a 40-hour week for a CEO is really not that much to ask for. So the shareholders say EV maker is in crisis and call for succession planning, meaning that somebody after Elon Musk. Now, there was a report that the board was trying to make him leave not long ago, but that hasn't eventuated and he seems to have taken control and left Doge and focusing on Tesla. But it remains to be seen what will happen. There still seems to be with FSD these issues, unresolved issues. Now let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that it's ready to go as a robo-taxi? Would you get into a Tesla robo-taxi versus a Waymo? I think I know the answer to that, but let me know in the comments anyway. And right now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to put a video right there, related video. Do go and see that now if you want to. And a subscribe link on screen. Do subscribe if you want to get more of these kinds of videos from me in the very near future. I do them daily. All right, thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one.